Hey YouTube world and welcome to my channel. I'm currently on a bus right now to from po in Poland basically but this is a part two of the <laughs> q and I did a little while ago. It was so long I had to split it into two pieces because this gal can talk but I didn't have a other introduction done done made so here it is. I hope you enjoyed the video. This one is a little bit different to the last one touching on a few different subjects and basically just enjoy Misha sat chatting absolute rubbish for maybe like a good 10-15 minutes. I hope you enjoy and bye. So, um, I really like this question, so it's about, I feel like I've said that with every question, but it's about being happy and positive, and about how I am a happy person. So, as I said in the beginning of this video, like, I'm in a bit of a weird mood lately. Um, I feel like my endorphins are down, my hormones are probably all over the place, you know what it's like being a girl. Um, but, even necessarily if I'm not feeling that positive, I feel like I do emit positivity positivity because if I'm in a bad mood I won't like take it out on people at all like I'm not that person I won't start screaming at someone because I'm in a bad mood I'll just kind of go quiet on myself and like just like come back a little bit and just be a little bit more reserved and we all know me shit isn't reserved some people know something's wrong but I don't really like go around trying to make a massive thing out of it because like we all have our down days like that's normal if we didn't I'd be worried um, because also your down days make your good days so much better and I think the reason I'm so positive is because I don't have a reason not to be like I'm so extremely privileged to live the life I do I am positive because I mean even when I'm not positive I think to myself Misha why are you not being happy like why are you in a down mood because you have no reason to be sad and even when I do have something to be sad about there is so much more to look forward to and to be excited for and just I feel like if if you're someone who is in a bad place at the moment oh I'm gonna go into this now aren't I so probably about a year ago now when my Lyme disease was really bad if you don't know I had Lyme disease that's a whole other video I'll link it down below you can go and watch that but it really affected my hormone levels and I was miserable like miserable for a good couple of months and it really really bugged me like I didn't want to be sad and it kind of made me understand like in no means was I depressed nothing like that like it was nothing serious but I feel like before then I didn't really have an understanding of where people were coming from whereas that kind of clued me in only like the tiniest percentage as to what it was like and all I can say is that having things to look forward to and planning things and progressing at stuff is probably the most exciting and positive way to like build yourself up. If something exciting or something good happens, you, you can't help but be happy. Like if I get an email from someone who is wanting to work with me, like I am smiling because I'm happy because that I'm seeing that as a successful moment in my life. Um, and I'm so lucky to have the family I do. And I know not everyone has that, um, which honestly breaks my heart. And I know that a lot of my happiness comes from my mum because she is quite honestly the best person on the planet. Like obviously we do fight sometimes like obviously we don't film that bit but we do bicker but because she's my best friend of course we bicker like you bicker with your sister you bicker with your brother doesn't mean you don't love them um but still the amount of time we spend together is probably about 20 no probably like 17 hours a day the other hours we are sleeping um yeah we are joint at the hip and we're both very positive people so if one of us are in a bad mood 
we will kind of bug the other person to get out of it so that kind of helps with the whole positive vibes situation but um yeah we're like the annoying twins who um are just always very excitable so i don't know it's hard it's hard to teach people how to have a positive mindset because I do think it's partly something that I, has got better with age. I mean, I know I'm still really young, but I, you see life differently as you grow up. I most certainly do. And you don't care so much about the finer details. Like, being on social media, being on YouTube, there is so much hate out there. To be fair, I'm very lucky and I don't receive that much. But obviously I still get some. Like, but I find it funny. Like, honestly, I enjoy getting hate comments, and I know that sounds really weird, but I find it enjoyable, because I find it funny to see what people, what, what flaws people see within me, because there's something that I may have never even thought of myself, and I don't care to, because I know where my strengths are, and I know where my flaws are, but that's nothing to do with that person that's commenting, some keyboard warrior who would not have the guts to say it to me into my face. If someone had the guts to say something to my face to me and actually put their name to it, I feel like I'd actually listen. But half the time I agree with the abuse, especially when it's about my boobs. I'm just like, yes, tell me about it. I have no boobs. Like, tell me something I don't know. And no, I will not be having a boob job because A, I don't have the money and B, I don't want false boobs. Uh, I've seen some beautiful first boobs in my life, but they would just look weird on me. Who is your style icon? Now, I, considering I'm into fashion, I'm actually not really into that many people. Like, when I used to study fashion styling, if I went into an interview, I'd need to research what stylists I like, because I just didn't work like that. Like, I'm not someone who's ever been, like, a massive celebrity person, or, like, followed people that much I feel like it's within me like it's really weird like my fashion sense obviously I'm inspired by trends I'm inspired by people but like I see bits rather than I'm like omg that person is my life okay if I could live anywhere in the world so if I could live anywhere in the world I'd live right here I'd live in England a million percent people are probably thinking what she could live in Australia she could live in America I like England I like England. I know it rains, I know it's miserable, I know a million other things, but I England is home for me and um, I love visiting other places, I love travelling, but not travelling as in with the rucksack, like I'm not a traveller girl. Can you see me going and camping anywhere? No, no, I'm talking about holidays. I'd rather do a week somewhere than a month somewhere, unless that month is in luxury and then I can't afford that. So anyway, yes, I, I don't know, I like England because I know there are so many things going wrong in the world and there's so much devastation and there's so much violence, but to me England is the safest. I know it's not, I know like statistic wise, blah 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 blah, blah but I feel safe in England. Obviously I don't actually feel safe because you can't feel safe nowadays, which is petrifying. But England is home and England will always be home. I, honestly, if I fell in love with someone from another country, I'm not sure that I could move abroad. Maybe I'd change my mind if I fell in love with them, but also I couldn't leave my family. I hope this person that's from abroad is going to be loaded so they can f pay for all my family to come and move there as well. I don't know who this person is either, but Hopefully they don't exist, because I don't want to be moving. Okay, I love this one. What is one thing that you enjoy most about where you live? Now, I am obviously not going to start going into details of where I live, because, I mean, you never know. <laughs> but I do live in Gloucestershire. I live in the Cotswolds. Um, and I used to live in London when I was, like, seven. And I want to move back to London when I'm older, when I'm, like, 21 maybe I'm not sure um, obviously money providing <laughs> London's expensive I'm not sure as well <laughs> um, but yes so I think I love just being in the country like, honestly because I grew up when I was younger in the city 
I was so scared of London. I was petrified. I didn't used to let my mum leave my windows open like the tiniest bit because I thought someone was going to break in and come and like kidnap me. And these windows couldn't open past that much and I still wouldn't let her do it. Genuinely, I was that scared. So I think then moving to the countryside, like it really... I felt at peace here, like I love the country. I do live in a town now, like I live in a quite a big town, like it's not, it's not in the middle of a field somewhere because I have lived in the middle of a field somewhere and that was a little bit boring. But it's nice to be able to have the countryside as well as a little bit of the town life about it being crazy busy. But then also being able to jump on the train and go to London and experience London and actually enjoy being there. <laughs> this question makes me laugh. Would you ever consider becoming best friends of a subscriber? Um, of course. Duh. Like, uh, yeah. I feel like I'm so excited to upload a video because I can't wait to reply to all your comments and your Instagram messages and stuff like that. Like, honestly, please, if you've never commented on my video before but you watch me, comment, let's have a chat. We can all have a little party. Like, I am that person that replies to everyone. Yes, I am. So, I do think that I could. Apart from the fact that everyone lives miles and miles apart from each other. So, um bit of a struggle there but you know we can be best friends message me so there's also quite a few pageant related questions now if you don't care about pageantry sorry i'm just going to go into it just quickly just lightly touch on it if the question is what inspired you to start pageants i literally don't know i genuinely was just a 13 year old that thought it was quite cool how bad is that sitting here five years later I'm like, Misha, what were you doing? Like, why? Why did you enter a pageant because you thought it was cool? It's so much more than that. Like, it's so cool. Um, but back then, pageants were a lot less developed in the UK. There was a lot less knowledge of pageantry and there was a lot less queens, as per se. So I didn't really know about the charity work. I didn't know about the opportunities. I didn't know about the systems. I just did it because I wanted to get up on stage and who knew all those years later what it would all lead to so that's quite exciting it just proves that you don't know what you're going to get out of something until you actually do it like you just don't know what's going to happen in your life that's why i say about i don't know what i want to do as a job like entirely when i'm old because i don't know what could be thrown at me like i honestly have no clue what's going to come so let's wait and see and hopefully you guys will be along for the ride that wraps up part two of my q a i hope you enjoyed the video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and also me and mum will be doing a q a on the 24th of december so set your calendars for christmas eve and in the comments below ask us whatever you want to know it will be a mummy and misha q a so yes let us know what you want to know about the grind girls and I and mother shall see you well I'll see you before the 24th of December as will mum but anyway we'll see you in the next Q&A and bye guys